Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create fake but realistic data using the Python Faker library. The question might come, why do we need to create the fake data? And there could be several answers, but the primary answer is that you want to create fake data for your business problem because you do not have sufficient data. Sometimes you would want to create a prototype, but you need data and rather than searching for the data, you could harvest the data. So Faker not only generate data for you, you can consider itself that you are harvesting the data for your business requirement. Using Faker library, you could create data by combining the standard or the built-in provider as well as the third party or the external provider. You could create the really detailed user profile data, including name, family, address, social security number, their phone number, geolocation, credit card information, vehicle information. Externally, you could create the data related with the travel itinerary. You could create the currency, banking, finance, and several other kinds of data. You could extend Faker to even add your own provider. So Faker library is very useful and very practical. And I hope that this tutorial is going to help you to generate your fake but useful data for whatever business use case you have. So I hope I have given you reason that why this tutorial is going to be very important for you. So let's get ourselves started. So we already have the Faker GitHub repo visible in front of you. It's very popular, 14,000 GitHub stars. It definitely proves that this particular Python library is really popular as well as very useful. I already have the Google Colab notebook open. I always use for most of my Python related projects. Google Colab is a great resource for you to utilize available for you just free of cost. So very first thing we really need to check if we have Faker library installed. So you can say pip show Faker. And if it is not installed, which is not, so we are going to do pip install Faker. And Faker library is going to be available, available very soon in our, this particular machine which is given to us through Google to run this Jupyter Notebook. Now, once Faker is there, if we try, we, we can validate that Faker is installed here. So first, we need to instantiate the Faker library. So we need to import Faker. So from Faker library, we are importing the Faker and it's uppercase, okay? And once we have Faker, then we need to instantiate this. So Faker, and we can say is that faker is equals to faker. And now the faker library is instantiated because if we try to do faker and it will tell you that now we have connected to faker instance, which is running underneath in this Python runtime. So there are so much inside faker, but in this short video tutorial, we are going to cover few of the very important aspects of faker. And the best way to start with Faker is to look into its documentation. So here is the documentation available. And there are two types of Faker content. One we call them standard provider and other is called the community provider. So if we would want to create fake data, these providers are the one which is very useful. So first So for example, we look into the profile and you can say faker dot profile and very quickly this fake data is created. You run and it's a fake data and within the profile, this information is available. So you can say what is the type? It's going to tell you it's a dictionary. It means you can access it directly as a dictionary. So you can say I need the birth date and it's going to tell you. If you would want what is the current location, 
So very quickly, you could generate the profile data. Now, if you would want to have our profile, either male or female, here you could actually define sex here. You see, there is a sex equals gender type. So you could say that sex equals male and that will be the male profile here. As you could see here, if you want to have the female profile, you could create the female profile. So the name will represent either male or female. Similar to profile, there is also something called the simple profile, which is a little more limited information. So if you want to use the simple profile, you could say faker dot simple profile and that is going to generate a limited information not too much as we have seen and this also support the sex so you could say that here we want female or we also want male so you have seen the profile how we could get profile now we can also look into the address here is the address and as you could see here the address also has various other function you can generate building number city city suffix country country code current country and several other so let's generate the address here faker dot address the address is generated faker dot city it can also generate the faker dot country you also have the country code country code so here address we have got zip code to if you would want to generate the zip code faker dot zip code and it's going to give you zip code however if you want the zip code in a state so you could say zip code in a state and you can say I need a zip code in California if you need a zip code in Massachusetts so this is also very useful if you would want to have a semi-realistic data. A company I also found really very useful because sometimes you really want to have the user management related application. You want to create user data. So you could say faker dot company. And if you would want to create the faker dot company email. So Faker dot company suffix if you would want to have LLC or something like that it will generate you some of those so you could create the faker company and you can also plus faker company suffix so that will generate you proper so there are a couple of ways you could define the company as well similar to that we are generating the credit card related data so what you need is you need a credit card provider so we can, will start from faker dot credit card provider so a random credit card provider will be available for us and if we look into the the credit card companies so these are the credit card companies available so you could actually select something like this so you can see cc so these are the credit card companies and within these companies you could actually select a particular so let's import random random then we can say uh, selected cc comp equals random dot choice and our choice is cc companies so this is our say print selected CC company so now we have this and based on that we could generate the credit card number so you could say faker dot credit card number and you could actually provide the selected and so for visa 19 we have got this if you amex the credit card now you can say faker dot credit card security code and if the expiration faker dot credit card expire so this way you could generate the fake credit card details please study more for your documentation if something you are more interested interested into 
we can look into the job faker dot job a job will be cre created okay. for you one thing i also found this personal information so there is a lot more details you could get just for your personal details here i will take one of the available example here you can see the name can be created first name last name name male or female there are several other things you could also get from the person provider so you can have faker dot you can see prefix and as you can see here there are prefix non-binary so it's going going to create something for example which has neither male or female same thing you could also have this thing faker dot suffix and you can also say non-binary and you can say faker dot name and you can say non-binary so there are several other ways you could generate the desired personal information using faker because sometimes you could generate these longitude and latitude and they are actually correct so if we select this for example so it's a faker dot local let long so it's mostly created in us and these are correct country specific longitude and latitude and here you can also provide the country code so for example if you would want to have the country code us this is the us so after the us if you would want to create for some other country you can select and for the country code the best is you look into this country code list and here is the country code list and for depending on which country you are more interested for example let's look for australia this is coming out from australia if we are interested to create for india this is india in now you have check more mostly kolkata so this is the time zone coming into if you are only interested in this api or is method just to create the code only not other then you could actually use the bool option where you could say that oh i just really need the coordinates only is true so for this we can select and we can say coordinates only true and you are only going to get the coordinate you will not get you currency is also available you could select a particular country code and based on that you can also select the currency so let's take a quick check so we have fake currency and we can also look into the currency code and currency name symbol so we have currency code currency name currency symbol and they also have the cryptocurrency available so print faker dot cryptocurrency so after the currency we are going to look into the file which is really very useful you could create file name file extension and you can create the whole folder path depending on what kind of file you would want to create so for example this is a fake file name and you could use this option so we could say faker dot file ex extension so here if we do not provide the extension here and we say we want to have an audio file it will going to generate some random audio file name or if you would want some of the extension it can also be created so for example create extension one two three so it's also creating if we would want the video file that will be remove the extension and your video file will be available so if you would want to create a file name which the complete path then you can actually say that this will be the file path its file path and here you can provide the depth equals two and it's a two depth file video type if you provide the depth 10 it's going to create the depth 10 video file for you so after it we can take a look at the python which is again really very useful so many things you could get uh, just you know create directly here so for example you want to create the list you could say give me the list of you know pi list you want to create so faker dot pi 
list. It's gonna create a list for you, just random list, so you could you use it if you would want to do the testing. A set can be created, a string can be created, and here is a really good one because you could create the string format here. So faker dot pi string format and here you could provide your format so you could say my format is this so for if you would want a format like you got character and number if you want a space so for example if you are generating the car license plate depending on a particular state you have very good way to generate this because this way you could mix the numbers and letters as your choice faker dot pi struct whole structure is available faker dot pi tuple tuples are available fakers dot pi i treble you could create faker dot pi dictionary dictionary value faker dot pi decimal pi int faker dot pi int and integer value will be social security number you could generate by fake as a sign it means when we are in person area if you would want to create for a person social security number you could actually come here and you can say oh i would want to have a fake social security number so fake dot SSN and social security number is generated. So I think that should be enough for you to get yourself started if you would want to generate the faker based data for your use case whatever you have. Now, now we are going to look into the community provider and I will be selecting two of them rest you can understand. So first I will select the vehicle one. So let's look into the faker vehicle And here, these are the properties available. So first we need to install the Faker vehicle. So let's install it because we already know that it is not available here. So I will be pip installed Faker vehicle. So we have installed it. And after that, we just really need to use the, we already have the Faker available. So we just need to make this Faker vehicle accessible. So from Faker vehicle, vehicle provider is available. And once we have vehicle provider available, then we can just start adding this provider. So we need faker dot add vehicle provider. So vehicle provider is available. Now faker is actually start generating vehicles too. You see the vehicles are available for us. So for example, we want vehicle is like a 2014 Nissan Aramada SUV. If you are just only interested in faker dot vehicle you could actually get the maker model year different category there are various categories are all available for you and you could actually get them indivisible so we have looked into the faker vehicle it's just very simple way you can select a particular provider and you can start consuming them in your need i will be looking into the credit score because i in one of my use case i have used it Let's look into the credit score here. So we install the credit score. Once it is available, we need to just get this and then we need to add the provider for us. So this is available, this, and then when we are faker.add provider, we just look into the credit score as a provider. And now faker.credit score. So here you could say credit score provider. We have various provider available, Experian, Equifax, and then you could actually credit score full, and that should give you FICO score. In the credit score, let's see what is available. So we have FICO score, and we also have the Equifax. If you would want to build the travel related data, you could actually use this fake air travel. Let's 
try this one too because our objective was to try three of them air travel once we have once the installation is done what we need is that we need to get the provider and then add the provider so this is our air travel provider now we are going to add this provider as the faker dot air travel so airline related so you have IATA which is going to give you the code for the international airport travel authority IATA code faker dot airport object so for Osaka city Japan and where it is available so these are the various airport related codes so let's look into the faker dot flight origin destination so even price is also there stops are there and if you would want to really just add the date and the time departure you pretty much have the realistic looking data for the user travel in the google collab or even the other python id you can look into the implementation so this is the flight implementation and we do not see that it takes the parameter so date is very important so let's take a look into the date related documentation first we have date time you could generate various date here and you can also generate the date between the values so i have a whole example of date so let's use this example so here is date time this century so you have date this decade and here you could see that this is the depending on which time you want year this year this month this century so you could select a random date depending on your choice you can also select a date between two dates and i can also show you that the way you could select is that you provide the date between dates you provide the date start time and date end time and it's going to generate the date between 50 to 40 years now if you look into the last five years so for example so minus five and minus four years back so this date should be depending on today's so 2017 2018 will be the mostly returning date for us so this is really very good example for you and there is one more thing we could actually generate the the time series with this and here we have time series data so it's going to generate the series and if you look into this series results last 12 days back you are getting a start date and now let's save this and we just call it faker experimentation and this jupyter notebook will be available for you so we could export this jupyter notebook from here to github and that is going to go in the python projects and folder will be the faker so faker experimentation and this jupyter notebook is available at python projects faker and here is the faker experimentation so anybody could use it after that we are going to create another jupyter notebook let's create a new jupyter notebook and we are going to use this jupyter notebook to just to have the faker fake data and we are creating a pandas data set so pandas and remember because it's a new machine with python runtime and we are not going to have the faker installed so we have to install the faker here faker is instantiated now we could define so what we need is that we need a name so name faker dot first name then we also need the date of birth of birth and here you actually see minimum age and maximum age so we could say we need a minimum 21 so mini mom age is 21 we also got the last name we could say last name equals faker dot last name so we got first name last name we need address so faker dot address ssn faker dot ssn 
So now we have first name, last name, date of birth, address, social, social security number. This is a very simple data set we have created. Now we need to define and we will call it personal data. Here we just call it type. Could be male or female. So first name, we could choose it if type is equal to male then else first name will be the female so we could choose here first name female and it will be first name male person type so that will be our person type plus this should not be name it should be male so we have that correction so we could create this the person equals we could create first name is first name last name is last name date of birth is date of birth address is address ssn is ssn return person so that is our person type and here we could say person equals male and if we would want to print this person if you look into the type of this person so this is a dictionary and if you import the pandas so i will be adding pandas here so we have imported the pandas and now what we need is that we need to create the 10 records so let's create the loop first so for i in range 10 and we are going to create the person data so that would be our person so person data and we need to create the records so we can say records is an array records dot append and it's going to add a person here so if we look into the length of records here 10 so 10 records are added into this now if we would want to take these records and we want to save them into the data frame so now we need is a data frame so we could say df equals pd dot data frame and let's pass the records and df so you have first name last name date of birth address and social security number describe so hopefully that should give you a very quick idea that how you can use the faker data and you could generate the n amount of records depending on your need. There could be several things we could do means we could enhance it so randomly generate either male or female. You could also use the faker bool property so you can say boolean and it will generate a boolean value. So faker dot boolean it's gonna generate true or false if faker dot boolean is true generate male else female so you can say male else person will be female new record search created 10 records new data frame if you would want to add that also in the male and female here so we can add here sex we can say also sex equals person type so male and females are going to be accepted let's look into make it so male and female records let's run again and now we have sex is also available male and female so you can get an idea how you can get yourself started and once you are just keep selecting whatever you would want to make yourself fake but quite realistic data so let's have a quick review what we have covered we started with faker we learn how to use the various existing or the standard provider which is available there then we also look into the three different community provided providers Within the Faker, we did various experimentations and finally, we used Faker to generate 
the quite realistic user profile data and we converted that into the data frame. Once we have data frame, we could save it to the disk and that data set is available for whatever your objectives are. So that's all I had for you in this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it and learned something new from this video. I hope to see you in my next tutorial. Until then, thank you so much.